Hello, I'm Dan Rizica, the founder of Print Guard, and today I'm going to answer the question is which jacket should you purchase for your Heidelberg 102 press? And pretty much they come down into we make two premium products which are the orange jackets and a white jacket which is actually attractively priced against any of our competitors products. So let's look at the first to the orange ones and say, why would you buy our original Print Guard Plus jacket against the Print Guard Excellent jacket? They both have the same fixtures, uh, same coatings. What makes them different is the, th the backing or the total thickness. And if you're printing commercial stock and then uh, other various thicknesses throughout the week and you're not printing just one type, this is the jacket for you. It's our patented microcellular closed foam jacket with a thickness of one millimeter and it works. It's a sweet spot for every type of uh, paper thickness that you're typically printing. However, if you're printing only packaging material, board stock, the thicker paper, then that's why we got this one, the fabric backing. It comes in at about 20% thinner or 0.8 millimeter total thickness, allowing a little extra room in that gap between the transfer and impression cylinder for that thicker paper to be printed. So now let's look at three key features when we analyze these jackets. A glass bead surfaces, uh, the type of backing, and the fixtures that are used to secure the jacket to the press. So we look at the glass bead surface and it really comes down to two things. The first and foremost is the base of it is on a mylar film, glass beads, and we adhere all three of these glass beads in a similar, similar fashion using a solvent resistant adhesive that we cross link. So it's an extremely hard durable glass bead mono layer, single layer surface. And then the second thing we do is we apply an ink repellent coating on top of this textured surface. In this case, on the orange one, we call this the orange hide. This is a very expensive silicone raw material and we use more than three times the amount of silicone on the orange one as we do on the white jacket. So if you look at that surface here, I'm gonna show you using some water how repellent this surface is. And again, it's a very durable surface as long as you're cleaning it um, in the prescribed manner using a blanket wash that's typically diluted with water for long life and no abrasive materials. The second feature that we're going to talk about now is the backing. And the backing has three important items. One is the resiliency of the material, how resilient it is, and even kind of think about compressibility and then coming back up. Uh, two is the total jacket thickness, which we talked about, the 0.8 versus one millimeter. And finally is how the actual backing itself, is it absorbent or repellent? Because you don't want something that's gonna be absorbing liquids as you clean it. So on the back side, we actually have our micro, closed microcellular foam, which is waterproof. Water is not going to penetrate this because it's a closed cell. On the fabric back wovens, the water repellent, and again, you can see the water just bead right back off on all of these jackets here. So that's an important feature. And we talked about the jacket thickness, and you're choosing the jacket thickness based on what type of uh, paper you are most likely to print uh, on your press. Uh, finally, let's go to the fixtures on the, on, that secure the jacket to the printing press. We have on this side the rivets, there are 10 rivets, and then there's loops, and there's actually six die cut loops here. So it's secured onto the Heidelberg transfer cylinder. On one side there's a spring bar and I have one outside the press so you can see. Uh, and our 10 rivets snap into these teardrop holes 
this uh, spring bar to hold it in place and literally they just snap in and you can see when we pull it up in the up position it's in the top of the teardrop as it's rotated around to the other side there'll be a steel rod going through here and it on the part of the cylinder that is hinged comes up this clips underneath and as you push it down it tensions on the jacket what's important is that when we're pulling on the jacket you're actually pulling on the bottom of our jacket not on the rivets which are holding it which makes it very secure and a secure safe all our fixtures have double uh, security they have both the adhesive that's holding them and the mechanical rivets the adhesive and the mechanical string for secure safe this jacket when properly installed cannot come off your press so again we talked about the, the types of jackets uh, and the types of printing so you can make your selection if you have any questions at all you can call us or visit our website and we'll have a technical sales guy answer your question our website is printguard.com thank you